following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Let's get down to business, man. Um, I just want to jump straight into the show because we got cut off at 8 o'clock and I don't want to waste any more time. So, first I want to get to this Papoose and Remy Ma story. Before I get into John, Jonathan Majors and Kirk Franklin, I want to get into this Papoose and Remy Ma story. Now, let me give you the backstory. So, apparently, apparently, Remy Ma and Poop Papoose made headlines a couple months ago. Um, I think this was in June, I think. Remy Ma and Papoose were in the headlines um, when it was reported that Papoose beat the snot out of a battle rapper named Easy the Block Captain for allegedly sleeping with Remy Ma. Now, all parties kept it under the radar until recently at a rap battle show uh, that Remy hosted, she was seen with Easy the Block Captain. And the battle rapper basically confessed while battling against another rapper who called him out for getting drugged or getting dragged by Papoose. So let's check that out. I got an article right here that goes into detail with it. So, let's see what we got. Now, this is for media takeout, so take it with a grain of salt. But I do think that this is, they're like 50-50, but I do think that this is, an, uh, this is accurate reporting. All right, so it says here, Remy Ma, 45. Damn. 45. Cheating on your husband. Picture that. All right. Remy, 45, appears to confirm her split with husband Papoose. Reportedly dating a 25-year-old rapper. It says, female rapper Remy Ma and her husband, Papoose, were the epitome of black love. Last month, media takeout reported rumors that the couple split and, rumor, and Remy was dating a much younger battle rapper. Now, Remy appears to confirm those rumors. A few months back, media takeout reported that Remy's husband, Papoose, reportedly attacked Remy's new artist. Uh, Brooklyn rapper Easy the Block Chain the Block Captain backstage at a rap battle concert. The streets were saying that Pap accused Easy of sleeping with his wife. Well, over the weekend, Remy Ma hosted a battle rap concert between her and friend Easy the Block Captain and another battle rapper named Geechee Gotti. During the battle, Gotti explained how Remy Ma is a foul bitch for cheating on Papoose with Easy the Block Captain. And he did this as Remy looked on and remained silent. Okay. So it says, Gotti rapped to Remy. If you're going to cheat, at least cheat with a nigga who can fight. Woo. That's petty. <laughs> that is petty. <laughs> you know this ain't right. Remy, you're supporting a victim. We had six back battle events and Papoose was, Papoose was at all of them, but he ain't at this one. Okay. Got to continue without a response from Remy. You foul for real. And I hope all that awkwardness, it, awkwardness in your home, your child don't feel. How can you protect a nigga who you can't protect you, who can't protect you is wild for real. Okay. So it says Gotti then added that fucking a nigga bitch when you ain't got hands is not a smart move. Then Easy responded with his raps. And Easy didn't deny anything. To the contrary, he seemed to confirm it. He rapped, You wanna know who I'm effing? You want the details? Nigga, keep this on the DL. If you heard that nigga socked me over a female, it's probably cause I still got that female. Remy did not respond to either rap verse. <laughs> All right, so let's watch the video so we can get a better understanding of what exactly we had going on here. Get her! Get her! All right, we got a lot going on here, but we're we going to try to uh, make sure we, we can hear this shit. Let's see. Compared to what he could have did to you, you're out of his life, and you're not off the hook either. If you don't 
Yo, I see now, niggas don't give a fuck in battle rap, bro. <laughs> niggas don't be giving a fuck. Remy Ma hosted this event, and niggas talking to her crazy. But that just goes to show you, if she really did give up Papoose for this other nigga, you can already see right now, she ain't got no protection. She fucking with this other nigga, and he talking wild crazy about her in her own shit. I don't I don't see Papoose eating that. Pause. I got that stuck in love. Look at Raven Mar, she just sitting there looking shook. She ain't got no confidence in this other dude at all. She's sitting there looking shook. This is the same broad that shot somebody, right? I'm just saying. She was fucking the help. That could really ruin your image. We're talking to Rock and Michelle, Pap and Rim. Nigga, that's us. Y'all the poster child symbol for black love. Niggas wouldn't even think that y'all marriage is still have to go to them stages. Every every interview, he show his admiration and tell the world how he think his woman the greatest. That nigga held you down in prison for six years. Look, he all up in her shit. He all up in her shit, talking shit in her face. If Papoose was there and they were still married, Papoose ain't going for that. But this is what happens when you when, when, when you fuck up your marriage for some dick, ladies. You got a you got a nigga sitting there talking to you crazy at your own event, and the dude that you allegedly left your husband for sitting right there letting it go down. Let's continue. <laughs> Like a whole poster do. Got niggas making vlogs and YouTubes. People 
working in the comments if those posts is true. Cause them teams in the same old outlets, they only know you. Listen. Hey. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Let's get to what the other nigga had to say. Let's get to what the other nigga had to say. All right, so this was his response. All right, the fuck. You see the skeletons. Oh, you see the skeletons. Read it in visual, like the email. I pre-blessed this- Alright, let's start You see the skeletons Oh, you see the skeletons Read it in visual Like the email I pre-blessed This whole year my career Don't try to de-breath You wanna know who I'm fucking the game You wanna know the details? Nigga, keep this on the DM If you heard it Nigga did something to me Over a female And he ain't dead It's probably because I still got the female Nigga Look at Raymond Ma still sitting there looking froze. It's true. It's true. It's got to be true. It's got to be true, man. Let me see what else he got to say. Uh, hold on. All right, so I guess that's it. Um, yeah, I mean, shit. It's sad, man. Um, Remy Ma is 43 years old. And, sh- and, and let's let that sink in. No, she's 45. She's 45. And she's out here in these streets hyping up battle rap niggas. Like, whether she screwed him or not, it's not a good look for a 45-year-old mother and wife. But once again, this is the toxic culture, hip-hop to be exact, that we continuously prop up. We continuously put these dysfunctional people on pedestals. I've seen so many comments on social media of shop fans begging Remy Ma to, to get it together in the name of black love. Like, seriously. These are your black love role models? Remy Ma's claim to fame is shooting someone and serving seven years in prison. Her poor husband actually held her down while she was locked up, made sure she came home to something after prison, and this is her goddamn repayment. Sleeping with a 25-year-old nigga who hasn't accomplished a fraction of what Papoose has accomplished in life. Fellas, you can do everything right and you can still get the short end of the stick because these modern women are only loyal to themselves. The future is not not even a part of their daily thought process. I mean, this dude who she's allegedly sleeping with is 25 years old. As soon as he finishes using Remy Ma to get him to the next level in his career, he's going to bounce and she'll be damn near 50 out here in the streets. See, the good man that she once had at home who actually loved her will either be living his best life playing the field as a fairly young bachelor with options or settle down with a chick at least 10 years younger than her. 